it's me Allegra babes today I thought it would be super fun to hop on with a testing out a full face of new makeup video I've got so much new makeup here I'm so excited to try out and so I thought it'd be really fun if we could try it out together although a few things I have tried I tried the other day on the live with some of you dolls but not everybody was able to make it so I figured we'll do it again just a redo and I haven't tried it since that night so anyway beauties a lot of this is drugstore some of it is from Sephora, Charlotte Tilbury, Morphe. This is uh, maybe there's a new Maybelline concealer that I really want to try out. So it's a mishmash of all different makeup goodies. And before we dive into today's video, I'm super excited because this portion of today's video is sponsored by Lolly. Dolls, I absolutely love Lolly. Lolly is a browser extension that you use with Google Chrome. And what it is is they give you free money to shop. So you can actually earn free money or you can actually earn Bitcoin it's pretty fun and all you do is just shop your favorite sites Sephora Saks Fifth Avenue Lululemon Macy's Bloomingdale's there are so many amazing sites that are partnered with Lolly so when you're shopping on those sites you automatically get money back free money and now even Bitcoin if that's what you'd like you can choose whether you'd want cash or Bitcoin and so you get money back just for shopping just doing what you would normally do so there's a wide variety of different websites that you can choose from that you probably do shop on and even eBay is partnered with Lolly so when you're shopping on eBay you're gonna be getting money back and it's super easy to use you just add the browser extension through Google it's like pretty much a Google app and then when you go on the site like you normally would do to shop or to browse or to do what you want it automatically gets activated and you'll see a pop-up and it says lolly is activated and right then and there when you check out you are going to get money back i know i've already gotten money back just by shopping at sephora like i normally do it's just so awesome to save and now even to get bitcoin pretty awesome so i'll have lolly link below if you beauties want to check it out it's so much fun so amazing and who doesn't love to save so thank you so much to lolly for sponsoring this part of today's video so beauties now let's dive right in and check out all of this new makeup i am so excited to try out this brow product that i just picked up because i haven't tried a new brow product in quite a while so i've been on my regulars my benefit my anastasia like everybody knows i was using the billion dollar brows but now i spotted a new one so let me go ahead and grab it so dolls i just scooped this up tonight this is from a brand called secret of faro have you ever heard of this before i've never heard of this i did purchase this at marshall's tonight so it says it's water resistant smudge resistant and it has an ultra thin tip so it was only $3.99 at Marshalls so I don't know how much it is originally but I figure let's give it a try so beauties here it is let me see if it has a really ultra thin tip hmm. so far it does look a little bit thicker than say the Anastasia brow is or maybe even the benefit it does look a little bit on the thicker side compared to those but it's still pretty small but let's go ahead and give it a try and I did get the shade I believe it was called espresso or no it's called natural black so let me see here hopefully this is gonna look good because I'm very particular with my brows but hopefully if this is good I'm gonna have to go back I'm gonna be right back at Marshall's tomorrow picking up another one so so far it feels really good it's gliding on really really nice and creamy so it doesn't feel dry it has beautiful pigmentation to it so there's a lot of color have you seen this brow pencil at Marshalls this is really good guys I actually love these wow I'm so shocked okay let's keep it moving I'm gonna go ahead and try this out today this is the pore professional this is just a sample that I got but this is the hydrating version of their it's like a putty that you put on a primer so I'm gonna give this a try even though I'm pretty much on the oily side but still you know I love hydrating products but this does feel really good it has a nice scent to it and it doesn't feel as thick as the original version so I can definitely see why this is a hydrating version it feels much more almost gel like in texture and the original one definitely feels thicker so then beauties I'm gonna move into the eyes right now because I'm not sure if this palette that I'm gonna use is gonna have fallout I'm going to use here beauties this is the new Morphe times pony constellation palette or constellation sky palette and this is so unbelievably gorgeous so I'm going to play with this tonight dolls this palette is just 
too much. It's too gorgeous for words. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just create a really fun, maybe I'll do a purple look tonight. I haven't done that in quite a while. So let me go ahead and prep my eyes. I'm just gonna put some concealer all over my eyes as a base. So beauties, I'm just gonna take this lavender shade here. I'm gonna use all the kind of lavender shades in the palette. So these shades and probably this. So I'm gonna go ahead and use those colors and just do a really, you know, nice pastel type of look. So pretty, it's like a dusty mauve. So I'm just taking polarity, just a little bit deeper than the first shade. And I'm gonna take the shade Bora and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. I'm just using the same brush. And now I'm just gonna take a pencil brush and, sh and smudge that Bora shade under my lower lashes. And now I'm gonna take the deepest shade in the palette of, out of the purple shades, Stardust, and I'm just gonna use that like a liner. So now I'm going to take a shimmer shade. This one looks so beautiful. It's called Nebula. So I'm going to try that on my lid. Wow, that's beautiful. That's not even wet. So gorgeous. I'm just going to wet it with my Allegra Chetty Beauty Mist and see if it comes out even more intense. Yes, even more. But it was beautiful without it. But if you can wet it, wow. And then I'm actually going to take this kind of blue shade and I'm going to put some of that on my lower lashes just to incorporate it because it's so beautiful. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. It actually shifts into a lavender shade as well. Like, oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. So then, beauties, I have this NYX Jumbo Pencil here. Now, I have tried Jumbo Pencils before, but I've never tried this one. This one is called Cottage Cheese, and this one is so hard to find. But I finally got my hands on it. So this one has more shimmer to it, so I'm really excited to try this today as a highlighter. I've seen a lot of videos online, and people are using it to highlight their face, and I know previously I had not used a Jumbo Stick that way. So let me go ahead and try it now and see how it comes out. So you just put it on your brow bone to highlight. I'm also going to try it in my waterline, on my lower waterline, and see how it comes out. That's really pretty. It's much more subtle than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more like bam in your face, but it's not. It's very subtle. So actually, I'm going to use this again as a highlighter, but after I do my face, I'm going to highlight my nose. And we'll see how that comes out. So I'm going to try out this mascara that I have here now, beauties. This is from Yuma. This is called Drama Bomb Mascara. And this is a black-owned brand. So I have seen them at Walmart now. So I know I originally purchased when they first came out. It was like two years ago. And I did a green eyeshadow look. And they, I believe they were only at Ulta then. But now they're at Walmart. So I'm going to try out this mascara. Wow, this just gave a ton of lashes. Wow, this is a good mascara. I seriously don't even feel like I need lashes. I'll probably put on lashes, but I don't feel like I need them. That's crazy because usually I do need them. You guys, how pretty is this eyeshadow palette? These colors are so different. They're so soft and beautiful. Oh, I love it. So now let's get into the face. I, I do have a new concealer, but I also do have, which I figured I'd show you beauties. I do have the new Charlotte Tilbury foundation, but I did show this on a live the other day, but I, like I said, I don't think everybody saw it. And I myself didn't really get the full effect of it because there was drama with the dogs and things like that. So it was live, so there was drama. But I'm gonna put, go ahead and put, I know I liked this the other day when I tried it. And I was really surprised at the coverage because so many people have been saying that the coverage on this is not that much. I heard a lot of people saying it's like a tinted moisturizer, but I feel like it gives a lot of coverage. Even a few of you beauties at the live said that, that you love this too and you didn't, you love the coverage. So what do you beauties think? I love this coverage. I totally think that this truly is a beautiful foundation. They were not joking. That was only one application. So you know what? Maybe I'll put on another just for fun, just to see. But that was only one, you know, one time in and it gave so much coverage. So I really think this is a truly beautiful foundation. And I got the shade 
too neutral and I feel like it matches my complexion beautifully and now beauties I have this here this is from Maybelline this is a new concealer from Maybelline it's called the super stay active wear I got a very light shade so hopefully it's not too light but let's give it a go so far this feels good I can't really <laughs> I don't have much to say it doesn't feel that thick in coverage it feels pretty lightweight it's blending very easily so it's not thick or not moving it's very natural even I wasn't expecting that you guys that's actually I think that's really beautiful what do you think do you think it did anything I'm not really sure because that foundation did the most that foundation came through you know at the very least it's it's brightening <laughs> it did brighten up my under eyes which is amazing but um, yeah it feels good it feels great actually yeah, what can you say? What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Now, this I did try with you beauties on the live the other night, but like I said, not everybody was there. And I want to give this a fair shot because I tried it the other day over powder and not every cream blush can perform over powder, although some can, <laughs> but this one can't. So today I'm going to try it just on its own. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Blush. So let me go ahead and give it a try on its own, like I was saying. So I'm going to put some here. Because after the other night, a few beauties were there. It just was not moving. It was awful. But, like I said, it was over powder. So, let's see how it works on its on, on cream. Traditional. Because the other day, it wouldn't move. <laughs> it was glued to my face. It was awful. Yeah, this is still very hard to move. But sometimes that could be a good thing, you know, if you don't want your makeup to move. <laughs> if you want it, but you got to blend it. So, I don't know. This is not the easiest to blend. Now, I don't have a new bronzer of any sort, but I, I have this Milk Makeup one that I've been using, so we'll go ahead and just put that on just so we can complete the look. So I have here this powder that I did purchase a while back, but I never really got to try it or whatever. I haven't been using it, so I figure I'll use it today. This is from Guerlain. This is the Meteorites, but it's a powder version. So let's go ahead and put some of this on and see how it sets everything. I, I can't deal with that. That looked so bad. I can't, I can't leave. I can't. I got to put on a little bit of this uh, translucent powder. This is my regular go-to, my Laura Mercier, but I just, I need it. I just cannot live without the Laura Mercier. So beauties, this is something new that I have here. This is a new Charlotte Tilbury blush that I just picked up the other day. And this is called the Climax. So, you guys, here it is. Let's give it a go. Now, to me, I thought this reminds me of almost, it's a blush, but it reminds me of a beautiful bronzer. So I thought, oh, it is a blush. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping it was more like a bronzer, but no, it's a blush. It's all right. It's good. It's, we're, it's working. We're working it. Oh, it's very peach-like. This is not what I was expecting. It's, it's actually very pretty. Once I got used to it and blended it, and it's very pretty with the purple. But let me go ahead and spray my face so, you know, I can let everything melt together. Like your trade be mist, clean beauty, vegan, cruelty free. Use club glowing, glowing skin for 25% off. Mm. Smells so good. Woo. Okay, yeah, see now things are coming together. Okay, let's just, let's move on to something more familiar. <laughs> let's just move into the lips. Oh guys, I gotta show you this. I love this, I tried this. I just purchased this yesterday. I have to show it to you. I don't know if you've seen this, but this is amazing. I got this at the drugstore at the other day. This is from L'Oreal. It's called the Flash Cat Eye from Infallible, L'Oreal Infallible. This is a liquid liner, but then it also comes with this cap that you can use like a guideline to get your cat eye, to get your liner just perfect. And I tried this the other day, guys, and it's amazing. I'm so happy I have it here. It's amazing. It just makes it come out so precise. It's just amazing. It just comes out super sharp, your liquid liner, because personally, I a lot of times I'll say, oh, I know how to make a straight line or whatever, but this it just makes it so precise that it's very, very sharp looking. And even if you, you know, you're comfortable doing your wing liner, but this just gives it a different look using this little tool here. It just gives you such, just comes out super sharp and it looks so go gorgeous. I love this. So I'm just gonna take that NYX pencil again and just as in cottage cheese and just try it now as a highlighter and see. 
Oh, it is really pretty. It's very, very light. It's very subtle. So I'm just loving everything so far now, beauties. I'm just gonna put on a lip and some lashes. For a lip, I just purchased this the other day for the first time. This is NYX uh, Urban Cafe Slide On Glide On Pencil. And I've never tried this one before, so let me go ahead and give it a go. That feels so good. It feels exactly like any high-end lip liner that I've tried. And then I picked this new lipstick up the other day. This is from NARS, and this is called Pour Toujours. <laughs> but I'm probably just butchered that, but I'll have a link below. But anyway, this is it. Really love that. And now I'm just gonna pop on some lashes and I'll be right back for the final look. So beauties, this is the finished look. I had so much fun playing with this new makeup today. This eyeshadow palette, oh my gosh, so much fun, so gorgeous, so unique. These colors are so different. So, and they're soft, yet they're colorful, and they're definitely wearable. So you can feel comfortable wearing this look. They're not too, you know, too much. They're soft, they're beautiful, but you could also, I'm sure, make them much more intense if that's a look that you'd like to go for. But if you'd like to go for a soft and a soft glam look, you can definitely do that as well. I love this lip liner. I'm so glad I picked it up. It feels exactly like any high-end lip liner that I've purchased, and I'm a lip liner addict. I love this foundation. I'm so glad that I tried it again because I love it even more now that I got to do my full my more more full makeup because the other day I just didn't really get to do my full makeup when I tried it at the live you guys know so anyway beauties thank you so much for coming hanging out with me today let me know if you've tried any of these new makeup items do you love them too are you gonna pick them up let me know down below any new makeup that you beauties are loving I do have the new NARS light reflecting foundation coming so I'm really excited we could try that out soon when it gets here and I got the Kosas concealer so super excited to try that as well so I can't wait till everything gets here and we could do another testing out new makeup chit chat fun time girl time makeup fun you know you guys know how it is so anyway beauties thank you again so much for coming and hanging out with me today I hope you dolls are all doing good remember stay safe stay positive stay focused on good things and I will see you beauties very soon bye